So in one word, the future of high-speed rail, very simple, now. Let's get on with it. Now is the magic word. In the year 2000, Amtrak introduced Acela, the first high-speed rail service in the Western Hemisphere. Since then, we've served more than 65 million passengers. And the question has been, what's next? And can you help us untangle that a little bit? Sure. Well, I mean, first of all, bit, just a bit about the Acela. I mean, I, I personally think the Acela is amazing. It's the fastest uh, train in the Western Hemisphere, which is you know, a real source of pride to us here at Amtrak. Uh, we're really proud of it. Um, the existing trains have done us proud. They've been in service for over 20 years. They've done a great job for us. And of course, we've got the new ones on the horizon. It's uh, something that I know you're very focused on. I can't wait to see them. I think they're, they're beautiful. They're real, um, they're real uh, advert for Amtrak in the, in the modern era. Um, but we, we definitely want to, uh, we don't want to leave it there. We want to go to the next level. There are so many compelling corridors, routes across the US that to me are tailor-made for high-speed rail. And to your point about um, the market share we've got on the Northeast Corridor, it's ex that's the power of high-speed rail. Why would you take the plane and you have to go out to the airport when instead you can take the train uh, and go downtown to downtown? So that uh, I very much see as the way of the future. That's why I came here. Why is it so hard? You've got to have the right characteristics. So what we're always looking at for a, 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 a successful high-speed route is um, good sized population centers at either end and maybe uh, one in the middle. So limited stops, fully enclosed. In other words, no, uh, pr no possibility of trespass onto the tracks. Um, modern infrastructure under the wires, uh, minimal curves, reasonably um, simple topography, those kinds of things. What do you think is feasible for us to see, say, in the next 10 years? Which city pairings have those characteristics that I talked about earlier, those, you know, those uh, key pieces that you've got to have in place. And the one that stands out is one that, to be fair, was already being looked at before I got here, but we've taken it to the next level and that's Dallas to Houston. So why Dallas to Houston? Something like fifth and sixth fastest growing metropolis is in the States, Dallas and Houston. You've got a good intermediate stop at uh, college. Uh, you've got um, suboptimal modal alternatives. You've got the I-45 interstate, which is very, very crowded and quite dangerous interstate. And um, there's a lot of people flying between Dallas and Houston, but to be fair, it, it, it's really kind of too short to fly, uh, you know, by the time you've got to the airport and gone through everything. So we really think Dallas to Houston is the one. It, it ticks all the boxes. And I'm particularly excited about it because it, it, the cities are 240 miles apart. The, uh, the proposal is what we're looking to do is um, introduce the legendary Japanese bullet train, the Shinkansen. Oh, wow. So what's called a Shinkansen N700S. Uh, and <laughs> people are just going to be blown away when they, when they experience that. I have been lucky enough to go to Japan and ride it. And that, that train will cover the 240 miles uh, at 205 miles an hour. The, the, the average speed will be about 187 miles per hour, which is actually would be the fastest average speed in the world. Sorry, Andy, I heard you say earlier that you were at Union Station. Uh, let's go and take a look. Let's do that. I've been very lucky to have ridden on many high-speed trains across the world, really. Uh, let's see, France, Spain, Italy, Germany, the UK on the Eurostar between uh, Paris and London. Uh, but the one that always stands out, I've been lucky enough to go on the Shinkansen, the legendary bullet train uh, in Japan. It is just amazing. I think in coming years, uh, once we've got high speed in on, a, on one, maybe two routes, what Americans will say in years to come is, we should have had this years ago. It's fantastic. Bring it on. Let's have some more. Andy, let's go make it happen. Let's do that.